right? I always loved books, literature in particular. My mother, she worked as a librarian and archivist. So she always brought back home the books. The literature is kind of in my, in my blood. The big part of my, my personal history is the Cultural Revolution. You know, six members of the family were scattered at five different places. That was called by Mao, the re-education of the youth. And so, two years on the farm in the commune, two years building the railway. So, you bring things like, you know, daily necessities. You need to bring things you need for daily life. But many people brought books. I brought several books, including Crime and Punishment and Notes from the Underground by Dostoevsky. The reason I brought notes from the underground and crime, and crime and Punishment was because Dostoevsky was banned. It was simply because it was banned, it had a feeling of being criminal, that I brought the books to, to the village. And life was very depressing, and reading Dostoevsky also made it more depressing. But it also strangely gave me courage it opened up a window for me, and I had a new perspective on life. And when China and UK started the exchange program, I got a scholarship from the British Council. As a result, I came to the United States in 1981, worked at the UN Secretariat in New York for three years. It's part of my nature that I'm hungry for knowledge, truth, I think teaching at Cal State LA has given me all kinds of angles from which I could understand scholarship. And I think that my students give me a lot of inspiration. I learn a lot from, from those students. I love music, uh, painting, calligraphy, film, uh, translation, uh, literature, poetry. I have a sort of hunger to tell certain stories stories of the Cultural Revolution, which has always been kept under the lid and still a sort of open secret. You know, teaching is to be yourself in a certain sense. If you are who you are, you can't help but, you know, convey that I'm revealing part of me, which shows my past. The fact that I'm a traveler, I'm a di diasporan, a translator. Mm -hmm. And when students you know, finish taking a class. That's the reward. The reward I get from teaching is when students say, this has changed me. This has made an impact on me.